Hi, welcome back to Pro Shop. It's Pete here. A lot of you have been checking in, asking for an update on the EH build. I just want to do a quick video on some of the reasons why it's been taking so long. One of the big problems was the steering. We had a Tirana rack fitted already uh, to this HD front end and the engineer just wasn't happy with it. This is a kit that you can buy for these. They still sell them now. The geometry was all wrong because of two main problems. Now, we could have bought a brand new cross member with tubular arms and steering, all set up like was in the HR, but there is a three to six month wait for those. So I just decided to do this conversion myself and get the car up and running. First problem is, you can see where the rack ends are. This one is sort of just inside the bottom pivot point. And this one is inside as well. If this was to be the right pivot point, the rack end, it really should be lower. Because what you want, if you draw a plane from this pivot point to this pivot point, straight down, you want the rack ends to be on that plane. That plane extends down, so it should be down about here. But as you can see, it's pretty much in line with it. So that's gonna cause bump steer. The second problem, and this is the main problem I feel, is that when you turn, the, the, the tires fight against each other. And that's because of the Ackerman principle, which this point here, and this point here have to be in alignment to the center of the rear axle. So really this should be out further. We can't actually extend this out further because the wheel is right here. So what I'm going to do is move the rack to the rear. All right, now I have cross member fixed to the table. I have the Commodore rack shortened tacked in position where I want it. The sump clears the oil pickup for the engine. It all fits in around the rack. This pivot point, as I said before, this diagonal line, which goes from the top control arm right through to the bottom control arm pivot point, passes through the pivot point for the rack end. And I fix the steering. So it stays straight, and when I move this up and down through its motions, this will stay centered. It won't push in or out. So I've got this side where I want it. And now this side, you can see it's longer. So what I've done is fix this in position, mark where I want to, where the pivot point's going to be, and then we'll cut this down Rethread the end, and then it's also got a little hole in the center, which we need to put back in as well. And this can go back in, it'll be in its right position. Then I'll make the proper mounts for this, fix this where it needs to be. Uh, I'll make a sleeve for in here, weld this up, uh, rebuild the rack, put new boots on it, grease it up, oil it up, all that stuff, and then I suppose it's just a coat of paint and we can chuck it back in, make this universal up to column. And the last thing I have to do is modify the sump. So this is what the sump used to look like. And I've taken this much out of it. This rack now runs through here. So what I did was mark it all, cut it, tack this in, refit this to the motor, put the cross member back in the car, Make sure everything had clearance. Pull it all out, finish welding this. I clamped it to the bench, welded it so it didn't warp. And now I'll just give it a coat of paint, bolt that back in, then put the cross member in with the rack and we're ready to go. So we've addressed the big problems like the steering and there's a few little other problems like the water pump has a leak so we've got to chuck a new gasket on that. We've got to gas the aircon 
the center console has to be finished and then in the back we've got to put a timber deck in the tray and i think that should be it for us getting it on the road so hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is out for this and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching